My mum is inspirational because she never gives up and that's such an easy thing to say. But <clears throat> when you've been through the most life-changing, devastating events that we've been through, um, she's always been there, not just for me, but for other members of my family. Um, she's always guided us, she's always been the backbone that's kept us all together. My mum is inspirational because when my sister passed, she lost someone so immensely close to her. Um, and in spite of that loss and in spite of the harrowing, harrowing circumstances in which that happened, which Charlotte so bravely documented on the internet, it's certainly something I couldn't have done. Um, I don't think many people could have done. Mum has always been strong for me, strong for my family and strong for other people. She's um, consoled other people, she's helped other people, she's listened to other people who are going through similar experiences and some of them have unfortunately lost children too. She started with me and Cressy, the charity Charlotte's Bag, which has just gone from strength to strength in no small part to her dedication and her ability to talk in front of camera. I think the word inspirational is quite a banded around word. Um, but with my mum, I think it really, really is the only description, the way she soldiered on through what happened to us, what happened to Charlotte. Um, she talks to a number of Charlotte's devoted YouTube followers and she keeps them informed as to what we're doing with the charity. And she's dedicated to keeping Charlotte's work and legacy alive. My mum was always there for Charlotte and me and some of the experiences of Charlotte's treatment and her cancer are absolutely harrowing. If you go onto YouTube, you can type in Charlotte Eats and you can see her videos and you can see in some of those her ability to speak, her ability to walk, her ability to function in any way, um, her ability to function in any way which resembled her at 16 prior to the cancer is completely non-existent and even through that my mum would sit down with her when she couldn't speak and she was feeling so so depressed because of the steroids the weight gain and mum would sit with her and she'd type something out and she'd read it over charlotte charlotte would sit there say hi guys to the camera which was her kind of signature hello to her followers and mum would read what charlotte would have liked to have said and that was beyond cruel. You know, what happened there to such a young, vibrant and selfless person and having to watch that as a mother, I can't imagine. Having to watch it as a brother was hard enough, but having to see your child decline so rapidly into a state of almost full disability, of almost being unable to walk, you know, complete loss of speech. Having done all that, and seen Charlotte pass and seen me through going back to university. She holds down a full-time job at a school, um, a big school, big secondary school, with challenging things happen every day. Um, for her to be able to do that, I can't think of anything more admirable, and that's not even really getting to the nitty gritty of her having started this charity with myself and Cressida and making these media appearances. We've raised a lot of money uh, so far. We've got international renown and that's what's important for my mum. It's not about, you know, seeing herself all over the news. It's about seeing herself all over the news one day and saying, this is what Charlotte left for us and this is where we've taken it. And if it wasn't for her, there would be nothing to take forward. So I think she's inspirational because she won't let Charlotte die. She will not let her become just another statistic. And she will use all that horrible, horrible experience over those last few months to push on, push forward and make sure that we get the kind of breakthroughs in brain cancer treatment that these poor, poor people who are affected by this disease absolutely deserve. And I know prior to her cancer, Charlotte was affected deeply by severe, severe social anxiety disorders. Um, and the cancer really threw her into a new light where all of that just disappeared. And to see my mum having dealt with Charlotte and nurtured her through that difficult time 
before the cancer and then during the cancer as well just adds another layer of um, admiration I suppose is the only word I can use. Someone who is so dedicated to their family and not just their immediate family as I say, the larger family that encompasses Charlotte's bag all over the world and I know for me <clears throat> going back to university it would have been incredibly tough without her mum's support and she's been there every step of the way I know Charlotte has too and I think yeah she encompasses the definition of inspiring because through adversity she keeps on going and Charlotte when she was so full of anxiety as a younger girl and younger young woman um, was always so fearful that she would never leave any sort of imprint on the world that her life would be like a shooting star, it's there one minute and then it's gone the next and no one really notices. <clears throat> of course we never thought that would be the case, but she did and she felt that deeply, she was deeply depressed about the way she was and who, and deeply scared about who she may, you know, one day become with this terrible anxiety, she couldn't leave the house really, she certainly couldn't travel on her own and through her tireless work with the cancer community online, her vlogs, and mum's dedication to that legacy and the legacy of those videos and Charlotte's hard, stoic and tireless work, I think we can all agree that Charlotte's left a pretty big footprint. And on that note, I can't really say too much more. She, my mother is an astounding, <clears throat> astounding woman. She loves her family, she loves her friends and she loves most of all helping people who she's never even met. Um, people who she may only contact through the YouTube videos or the charity. She is always affected by the comments we get and some of them are light-hearted and they reminisce about some of the videos that Charlotte and I did and some of them are really really serious. People who are quite ill with forms of brain cancer and other cancer and mum always 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 responds to those without a doubt. And that's just a small part of why she's so inspiring. She's selfless, she's dedicated and together we're going to bring Charlotte's legacy and Charlotte's bag around the world. Hopefully we'll see a large increase in acknowledgement of brain cancers, in better treatments and better funding. And that's what my mum, that's what she wants to do with her life and I think that's very admirable indeed.